First, they asserted that April Levine had passed away in 2003 and that her body double Melissa Vandella had taken her place. Now it is being said that Eminem passed away in 2006, but that he was succeeded by an android clone. Oh really? You've probably heard that Eminem passed away in a car accident back in 2005, and you've probably also heard the claims that the new Eminem is just a clone of the original, actual Eminem. If you are someone who is interested in finding the truth, you should read this tale even if you have never been a fan of Eminem. After doing even a small bit of study on the topic, I've come to the conclusion that it's quite clear that he passed away in 2005 and that the Eminem who has been in the public eye since then has been a clone. This hypothesis is just one of many crazy online conspiracy theories. Naturally, all of us are aware that the likelihood of this being true is extremely remote at best. However, it seems that the rapper known as Slim Shady does not exist anymore and has been replaced by a clone. Fans first became concerned when they detected a shift in his vocal tone over the course of several years. It is common knowledge that the voices of singers and rappers change throughout the course of their careers for a variety of reasons, including the passage of time and the physical and mental stress they endure. However, it is also true that being impersonated by a clone is one of these variables. After that, the Spanish website La Gua del Verón decided to throw even more fuel to the fire by referring to Eminem as a android clone and stating that he passed away in a vehicle accident in the year 2006. When you think you've heard everything there is to hear, the internet goes and shatters your preconceived notions by informing you that Eminem passed away in 2006 and that the rapper you've been adoring for the past several years is actually a clone or a robot if you want to believe a different interpretation of the idea. In situations such as these, when one person comes up with a hypothesis and what they see is proof to back it up, the rest of the internet grabs it and runs with it, despite the fact that it is one of the most outlandish notions that are currently floating about. And now, years after the theory itself was conceived up somewhere on the internet, people are talking about the conspiracy theory that Eminem passed away in 2006. Would that really be the case? There is no hard evidence to support the hypothesis that cloning is even possible in the world today. And if the fictional scientists on Westworld can't perfect the process of turning humans into androids on the first try, there's not much hope for the real world. Did Eminem died in 2006 though? The idea claims that Eminem passed away around 2006, and according to Lad Bible, The Daily Star, and a plethora of videos on YouTube, the conspiracy began to circulate some time after that year. After that, he was said to have been switched out with a clone, so the people in power inside the music industry could have a greater degree of influence over him. Sure, January, in light of the fact that there is not even the slightest shred of evidence to show that this is accurate, you can count on a negative response from me, dog. But if you ask the dozens of users on Reddit who are steadfast in their belief in this idea, connecting the dots of other renowned artists who have changed over the years, and comparing old and recent images of Eminem, they could give you a different answer. The evidence that is used to support this claim is that Eminem's appearance is altered, his face appears a little bit wrong, and his music is not as dark as it was around the year 2006. Citation needed, citation needed in all candor though, the most likely explanation for this is that he matured as a person and made the decision to stop rapping about killing his ex-wife. The Eminem conspiracy theory places blame on the Illuminati. There are also references to the Illuminati in another component of the conspiracy theory that asserts Eminem passed away in 2006 and that the rapper you know today is nothing more than a fake, because it goes without saying that it does. This is as a result of Tom McDonald's song, Cloned Rappers, which was released in 2019. According to the lyrics, the Illuminati used bone samples to clone rappers, and Eminem is specifically mentioned in this context. And the fact that Eminem praised Jay-Z in an interview with Complex in 2017, who is widely believed to be the public face of the Illuminati, lends credence to the conspiracy theory that the Illuminati substituted Jay-Z for Eminem in order to advance their mission. Eminem lauded Jay-Z in the interview, saying that the latter is extremely in sync with the times and then he does things his own way, and then other people follow it. He continued by saying, that blows my mind, so ever since then, I've looked up to Jay for that. For some, the theory is supported by Eminem allegedly glitching on TV. A television event that many viewers took notice of is provided as proof in connection with the claim that the original Eminem passed away in 2006 and was succeeded by a clone. 
This is the second piece of evidence presented in connection with this theory. During an interview that took place in 2013 with BBC Radio 1, Eminem awkwardly addressed the audience watching the conversation by turning to the camera to speak directly to them. After a lengthy and awkward pause, he finally shifts his attention back to the person who is conducting the interview. He orders the people watching to get out of his thoughts. It's possible that Eminem was just being himself, but the fact that he said such things merely added gasoline to the fire for those people who already believed in the conspiracy notion. It is very clear that there is no evidence to support the theory that Eminem passed away and was succeeded by a clone, robot, or some bizarre combination of the two. However, as the internet continues to develop, it will probably continue to come up with new ways to cause unnecessary panic among its users. 2005 was the end of his tenure, the year in which he most likely began to become more educated about the true state of affairs in America, the world, the shadowy, hidden portions of the celebrity scene, and every power scene there is. He was most certainly approached in a variety of ways to see whether or not he was willing to compromise even further and, in essence, become inducted into the shadowy criminal and satanic underworld. These famous people do not join the Illuminati, rather, they become consenting slaves of their masters, who are members of the bloodline families of the demonic cult that is responsible for the creation of the New World Order. They killed him in a car accident, and if it didn't kill him, they probably finished him off afterward. It's evident that Eminem instructed them to take a hike, and they did. After that, they began their public relations campaign by claiming that he entered rehabilitation. After then, nobody saw or heard from him again until 2009, which is around four years later. The new Eminem was considerably different, and people who are and were loyal followers of his are unlikely to have bought into this switch at all. A large number of brainwashed people, who were unable to comprehend what the truth actually entailed, fell for the deception and followed their hero in his newly adopted way of thinking. Now we have the satanic homosexual sellout Eminem, who is guiding the younger generations into becoming slaves to the New World Order as well. Watch the video down below if you are skeptical about what I have to say about this. If you do not accept what is shown in the movie, then it is possible that you are a clone yourself. The findings of this case study are concerning due to the fact that it is reasonable to assume that this has been going on for some time, and the consequences are both far-reaching and odd. Personally, I am of the opinion that Paul McCartney passed away in the late 1960s and was succeeded by a doppelganger or a clone at the same time. There is an abundance of evidence to support this claim. Nonetheless, the vast majority of people are unable to fathom the possibility of such things. They are so blind that they can't even see that the Beatles were a band made up of individuals who sold their lives to the devil. This concludes our video for today. What are your thoughts on this new about MM death? Tell us in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to